KSA meets mission failure. The Kerbal Space Administration was met with disappointment when their second probe launch did not meet the necessary mission objectives. The probe launched 8 a.m., heading north to observe the polar regions of Kerbin. However, due to a design flaw, the probe was unable to achieve the required velocity to maintain a stable orbit. Is the satellite spiraling out of control a direct reflection on the individuals at the KSA? Only time will tell after they attempt this challenge again. Hello everyone, this is Shimmy, and once again I am playing some more Kerbal Space Program. I am still working on my Sandbox Space Campaign. This is episode 3, and uh, last episode, if you remember, we had a bit of a mission failure. I'm going to go ahead and try that one more time, but I'm going to go ahead and uh, try and see if I can get this uh, this probe a little bit more delta v so i don't so i don't fail because evidently according to this either i'm a bad pilot or 49 72 meters a second total just isn't enough so instead of adding it to the first stage i'm going to add the extra fuel to the second stage i'm going to go ahead and just take that all off and then I'm going to go ahead and add this slightly larger fuel tank. Oh! Need my... Need my battery pack there. Alrighty. 23. Okay. That's a good number. 52.44. Alrighty. That is... That is a number I can deal with. I think I'm just going to leave it at this. I don't want to make it any more complicated because I had to eat 12,000 crones. You know, well, only, you know, 12 and a half thousand from my last launch. And it's going to be the same for this one. And if I can't make a profit, then I can't go any farther in the space state, uh, in this, uh, in the space program. So let's go ahead and make this the Pro Beta Mark II. And I'll go ahead and launch this. I'm waiting for this to load. Throat's gurgling for no reason. Alrighty, so same, same as last time. So I can just go ahead and close that away, keep this open, and we'll go ahead and try this again. Um, I'm just gonna go ahead and fast forward through the entire launch until it gets to the interesting part. So I'll go ahead and uh, yeah, I'll see you at that point. So three, two. One and lift. Hello, I am back. We are still lifting off here, as you can see. Probably just did a little, uh, little fast-forward action there. So I'm just going to go ahead and uh, start pitching over. And just because uh, north, I, I feel is kind of bad luck, I'm going to go ahead and try and go south here and see if I do any better. So I'm just going to go ahead and uh, keep on pitching over south here. I don't know if um if last mission was because I had s that the trajectory that went up so so quickly, or if it was due to some other reason. But I don't repeat that this time. Go ahead and drop the throttle here. I'm gonna go ahead and pitch it over. It's about 15 degrees from the horizon. Go and throttle up. My inclination is increasing. You can see here the trajectory keeps going more and more north south. Alrighty. 
apple lapses at 66. I'm going to keep my pitch at 10 degrees. above 70. That means we're going to break out of the atmosphere. Alrighty. Here we go. A minute and 30 seconds before our apoapsis. So I'm going to go ahead and extend the solar panels. We're almost out of the atmosphere here. And try to plan the maneuver again. I don't like the look of this either. Looks like I'm not going to be within contact. But, I gotta do what I gotta do. We can't cancel this space program yet. Okay, it's made a burn of 19 seconds in 36 seconds. Let's go ahead and uh, do that. 77 by 81. All right, that's good enough for me. All right, burn. bit so our apoapsis doesn't get too far ahead of us. And that's what will lead to wonky looking orbits. And BAM! Alrighty. We got a an orbit of 84 by 80. That should meet the mission requirements. Our inclination is slightly retrograde at 91 degrees. Perfectly fine though. Meets our orbital, our mission parameters, and there we go. Let's go ahead and finish that mission. Current budget, current, what we have in the bank, 81,000 crones. I'm probably going to go ahead and do another, another probe mission at this point. What I'm going to need to do soon is set up a relay network so we can uh, well so we can not worry about going out of contact because at this point as you can see I can't control my satellite that makes it really difficult if you want to fine-tune the orbit or whatever if you're not able to control it so anyway I'm gonna leave it at this go ahead and close this window here Actually, it's kind of, kind of boring, but I'll leave it at this. Mission complete. Thanks for watching, and I will see you on the next episode.